Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forgeworld and Games Workshop. Firstly, I'd like to say a huge welcome to all of you new subscribers and members to the channel. The best way of supporting this channel is of course using that Element Games affiliate link down below and if you pop in that crystal code not only are you going to save 20% off your Warhammer but you're also going to earn double the crystals uh, which you can then use to get even more money off your next purchase. So thank you to everybody that does that. Let's get into it then. So on the community website, if we go back uh, a week to the 19th of June, it was a big day, big weekend. You could pre-order the new Age of Sigmar 3.0 uh, Dominion box set. I'm not sure on this one whether they haven't sold hardly any and there's a big push to sell them or whether they've made a huge number uh, of them. Uh, I received, I think, two extra emails, uh, so three in total, uh, telling me to to buy this and that's quite a lot I, I don't normally expect um you know an email in in consecutive days to encourage me to buy something um that i haven't already um and no doubt most likely if i had have purchased it i would have still got those emails as well i recently went to warhammer world and i had a look at the models in person and uh yeah they, they do look better in person i'll give them that like the hobgoblins and um the, the cruel boys um, even the the main leader uh, on the I want to call it a warg <laughs> on the beast um, doesn't look as bad as the photos, which is quite often the case, especially with uh, Games Workshop miniatures. So nineteenth of June, this was the the pre orders which I I went through in depth. You get the uh, the core rule book with a different cover. Um, you're getting I think eighty miniatures or so. Um, you could also pre-order the, the core book individually and the uh, limited edition. That's still in stock, but then again, it is £125 um, and there's 2,000 of them. You could pre-order all of the other Age of Sigmar goodies and some new paints and some t-shirts and so on. Um, new from Black Library, so there's a look at uh, Dominion book by Darius Hinks. And he's also got two limited editions uh, of these on the store as well. The same day, they also had, uh, quite an odd thing, a an article for Maggotkin. Um, I will be collecting Mag Maggotkin at some point. Uh, it's probably looking like towards the end of the year now, maybe October, maybe November, uh, if that. Um, there's quite a few things coming out. There's more Orcs than I expected coming out. So, uh, and I still got to cover, and I still got to go back and cover Lumineth and uh, Soul Blight as well as Sisters. On the Sunday, uh, there was a Soul Wars are over, but the Night Haunts still have plenty in store for the new edition. So it's just a continuation the past week of these articles focusing on how the new edition is changing uh, current armies in Age of Sigmar. Also on the Sunday, it was a preview of what's up uh, for pre-order to today. Um, you can still pre-order the uh, Dominion book box set and uh, you know they advertise it there um, but also you've got these Blood Bowl um, old um, high elf teams now they are in metal and they are made to order so they may well take so they may take a little while to get to you the website is showing uh, within 30 working days uh, you've also got the vampire counts and um, Blood Bowl team as well Necromunda this was um, up for pre-order yesterday from Forge World um, it is the Mercator siphoning delegation and uh, the rules for these are in the House of Blades expansion. So you can add the uh, Water Guild uh, to um, one of your Necromunda gangs. We'll have a look at them a little bit later on. You've got the Underhive Informant, Pray You're Not in Clovis, the Redeemer's Little Black Book of Torture. A little look at uh, Clovis. And you've also got the sidekick, Deacon Malakev. These look fantastic models, and I'm so pleased that they continue to um, produce uh, the Necromunda uh, minis and characters and things. And it's down to you guys buying them all. Um, you know, it's great that you're supporting them and that um, you enjoy these uh, Necromunda uh, miniatures. Monsters and Magic, the Seraphon, poised to execute the Great Planner in the new edition, so a Seraphon uh, article. 
um, a preview for uh, Warhammer Plus Online. That took place in Wednesday. I'll give you my thoughts uh, in, in a moment about that. Learn to play videos. Uh, make it easier than ever to get into Age of Sigmar. The Rumor Engine, 22nd of June. Uh, we now know what this is. I think it is uh, something Orc related. You've got the easiest way to becoming a Blood Bowl star player. Grabbing a whopping chainsaw. So this is a pitch side uh, report. Um, so this is interesting. Uh, you know, they've got this kind of, I don't know what kind of powered it is, but um, yeah, you've got uh, Max Spleen Ripper. Wow, fantastic name. It's coming to, uh, to Forge World. You've got seven things to do in Gerd, the realm so violent is eating itself. Uh, you've got uh, with Axe and Flame, the Fire Slayers, how they're being affected. Regimental Standard, Five Reasons Sentinel is the only war suit. And then Warhammer Plus um, preview. Things you need to know. Uh, so this is a full breakdown of this Warhammer Plus um, subscription. Uh, you've got here a wealth of Warhammer animation. It's very, very vague. There's a wealth. It's not very specific. It's not like you're going to get one a month or anything like Disney Plus where you'll get one a week. Um, you get a weekly in-house Warhammer hobby shows. Digital vault of classic Warhammer publications and White Dwarf issues. That may well be interesting to some of you. And um, full access to Warhammer apps. Well, full, full access. I mean, you know, everybody's got kind of full access, haven't they? My thoughts on it was that you um, didn't have to pay for the codexes and stuff, but yeah, you're still going to have to pay for them and you're still going to have to use the code to unlock them. And my experience of that app is sometimes the code doesn't even work uh, or they haven't updated it. So hmm, they better be on the ball with this, um, with this subscription. Premium access to official events. Now, again, premium access. What does that actually mean? Because if you've got 10,000 people signing up to this thing, how are 10,000 people going to get premium access? Uh, I, I think all that means is that you're going to get the things that you would have got normally if you bought a normal ticket. So like a program or um, a lanyard or a badge. And that to them classifies as premium. I don't think it's like full on VIP, you know, first in line, first to get your ticket. I think there's still going to be issues around that. Um, we'll see though, you know, the proof is in the pudding. And also um, events right now. Our restrictions have been extended another month. Who knows what else will happen in the future. I think uh, this thing's with us for a long time. Um, and I don't think things will get back to full, full normal. So again, have an access to events that, you know, we know of the American events, but we don't know. They haven't announced uh, like a Warhammer Fest or, or an open day or anything like that. So again, that's a bit odd. If they'd have announced official events right away um, alongside this, then I, I could kind of... Yeah, understand that. Exclusive sub subscriber offers. That's interesting when it says exclusive offers. Is that against books? Is that against minis? A free exclusive Citadel miniature worth at least £25 each year. Hmm. A free one. So one. And they show two. Again, would have been nice if you got two of them. And then access to a second exclusive subscriber uh, miniature. Hmm. Interesting. So you've got a mini Citadel one and a subscriber one. It launches on the 25th of August, and then there's a couple of stars there, so I, I would have a look at that. And then is only £4.99 a month, or £50 um, for the annual subscription. Yeah, it's going to be worth getting the annual subscription because you're saving yourself £10, which of course you can buy a can of spray or um, a couple of pots of glue or, or something like that. Uh, if we look down here, these are the exclusive miniatures. So it says, start off with incredible new miniatures. As a thank you, you'll be able to choose an exclusive free miniature to add to your collection. Now, bearing in mind, these look awesome, but the hype train here is more than a year. You're not going to get these miniatures until after a year of subscribing. That's a very, very important point to make. So if you're falling in love with the Vindica uh, model, you're going to have to wait over a year for him. That's over a year from now, of course. Um, then you've got this one here, the uh, Oroch. What they're doing now is um, Warhammer Plus subscribers will be able to purchase the other one as well. So it would have been nice if you got both of them for free. Um, that would be quite quite brilliant, um, especially after waiting a year. Um, and either giving GW your £50 up front by saving £10 or paying £5 a, a month. 
you're then going to have to buy the other miniature if you really want it. We're all going to be giving Games Workshop a nice boost of half a mil a year in advance. So just just put that in perspective. Yes, you're going to get all your other goodies as well. Okay, and you know, but then again, your mileage may vary. If, if you're only going into it for these miniatures, then I can't see how it would be worth it if you're just after uh, these two. The Vindicar Assassin is nice. I think the base is just huge though. Um, the, the scenery, it, it's basically a scenery piece with a miniature on there. It reminds me of a diorama more than anything, more than a like a miniature. I'm wondering whether they're going to do this with, with other miniatures. Um, I believe this was the, the rumor engine because it's got a bit of hair, but I might be completely off on that. You got Warhammer Plus animation, something that they haven't really shown much about in their animation live stream. It was pretty much just titles with um, sound bites uh, behind the titles and it was a you know huge missed opportunity and um, yeah I, I think that that's affected um, people's kind of hype uh, for this and this is the thing about releasing um, these reveals and things too much um, you, you no matter how much people love and enjoy the lore and um, the universe of your products titles and sound bites just don't cut it they've never cut it uh, i don't see how people can get so you know excited over those kind of things and uh, that's why it had quite a, a big um, backlash moving down though you've got exclusive shows you've got the citadel color masterclass this is going to be interesting um and may well be worth it alone um you've got the you're going to be able to learn advanced painting techniques. Now, Games Workshop do have... Now, Games Workshop and, you know, Warhammer Community do have some fantastic videos already on YouTube, but I guess that this will take it to the next level. Um, you're still getting the usual painting videos as well, uh, and tips and tricks from CitadelColor.com and the Warhammer YouTube channel, um, but uh, it's there for when you want to take it to the next level. It looks like they're painting, um, you know... Damage effects on the armor, so that's quite cool. Um, then you've got the archives, so you've got uh, the history uh, of the 41st millennium and mortal realms at your fingertips. Again, this might be worth it for a lot of people. Um, and uh, the official Warhammer law show presented by experts. So all these guys making law videos and things, yeah, it says it's going to be presented by experts. Hmm. Sometimes experts on their own law aren't the best presenters and it would be cool to have some voice actors and, uh, you know, actors in general for some of the um, conversation parts, um, but we'll see. You've got Battle Report, um, brings beautiful armies in cutting edge match play and narrative uh, play battles. So again, everyone, so again, some of those people that are doing Battle Reports, you know, again, a bit of competition there um, from... Uh, the people that actually make all of the rules uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun uh, I I still would have rather them have a battle report in every white dwarf as well on top of this um, but this looks pretty good because you're going to be seeing all of these lovely miniatures um, that you see on the uh, store um, beautifully painted in their battle reports uh, so that's going to be fantastic and then apps you've got the uh, access to premium features included in your subscription um, and they're also bringing a brand new companion app for warhammer age of sigmar i hope that you can still use the age of sigmar app because that is the best one it's free it's got all the war scrolls and things on it and my only gripe with that would be um to have a little button to to add uh, you know some of the units to cart and then you know integrate it with the, the store somehow or even just take you to the store uh, you know if you, if you click some of the units but there we go you've got premium tier access not quite sure what that means it doesn't explain it anywhere there but uh, it says here if you're an existing 40k app subscriber um, you'll receive an additional free gift too they, they don't tell you what that that free gift is though Hmm, interesting. Warhammer Vault, uh, you've got Treasure Trove from History of uh, Warhammer. So you've got uh, all the lore sections from past publications, um, such as The Gathering Storm. Um, again, for Age of Sigmar, you've also got a load of lore and uh, The White Dwarf 
um, magazines as well. So the White Dwarf issues will be added to the Warhammer Vault every week. So I'm wondering um, how they will swing this, whether they're going to be the full White Dwarf issues, um, because it does say more books, stories and White Dwarf issues will be added to the Vault. So the Vault seems pretty decent with the amount of content in it. Event extras, I mean, it's just a small, like, couple of sentences there. It's going to make you feel like a champion at each of the events. Again, events haven't really been on people's mind for the past... um, a year and a half unfortunately um but you're getting yeah look at this vip badges priority access and free merch again you know um priority access if you've got ten thousand people and the event can hold twenty thousand or thirty thousand then yeah it's it's going to be tough to organize that um if everybody's got a subscription and uh they will want the vip access i guess they're banking on not having any events um, for the rest of this year, uh, you know, Warhammer Fest was like online like it was last year. Um, but um, quite possibly next year in May time, they might organise an event. So, yeah, keep tuned for that. And then about your um, subscription. Um, you're getting two months free with the annual sub- subscription. It starts in August. Um You've got your event extras, your Warhammer Vault, your free exclusive miniature, just just one though, and then an access to buying the other one. Animation, we haven't really seen much about that at all. Uh, the apps, which are basically already there anyway, and exclusive shows. So the takeaways for me um, would probably be the Vault and um, probably the animation uh, and um, you know the Masterclass shows and things uh, with the battle reports and the lore videos. And then you've got sign up to the newsletter. I think we're all already signed up, but it's going to launch on the 25th of August. So only two months away. All right. Anyway, that's enough about this um, Warhammer Plus. I, I wanted to spend uh, enough time on um, uh, that that preview because I've had a few questions about it. You've got a new Warhammer Age of Sigma app is being forged for the new edition. So here you go. Um, this is a closer look at it. Um, you've got the thumbnail now. Where can you d- download it? Um, it'll be in a beta version uh, later this year sometimes before the sometime before the first battle tones for the new edition um and uh, we'll join the warhammer plus offer now whether it says later on this year as in august um if it's not out before uh warhammer plus um launches then there's going to be issues um because they've advertised this as one of these things and if people are paying up 50 pound up front they kind of expect this this app so saying it's going to be later on this year and so they bring it out in november or december that's not going to be good and it's it's not going to have a good um impact on the the rest of the uh, subscription you've got a daughters of cain um article there focusing on the new edition unleash the soul blight grave lords in your games of war cry uh, so you've got some free uh fighter cards here this is always nice you can download them here and you can use some of your night haunt um, so that's nice. I do like it when there's a, a cross between um, different game systems and uh, they allow you to use your, your Age of Sigmar models in, in a different game system. There and back again, a Middle-Earth Miniatures range update. So there's a nice little update here. Um, <laughs> uh, they're going to um, be ending uh, a number of uh, miniatures from Middle-Earth range, unfortunately. Um, so uh, if you want these barrels out of bond... Um, You've got until the 29th of August. If you want Bilbo, uh, you've got the same date. And the Woeses of Druidan Forest. Uh, the Band of Braz, Bulrora, Took, Foot and Mounted. Gold Fimble, Foot and Mounted. So the models that are going to be coming back though later this year is Lorien the Elf Commanders. Galadrim Elf Commanders, Wood Elf Sentinels, Thrain the Broken and Gandalf the Grey, Vanquishers of the Necromancer, and the Spider Queen, as well as the Spiders of Middle Earth and Castellans of Dol Guldur. So, so these will be uh, returning to the range later on. I, I think they'll be in metal like they were before, uh, and quite possibly um, like made to order. So you wait your thirty days. Um, they've also said um, herald the arrival of something else in Middle Earth. So, and it arrives 
and it remains hidden in the shadows. So that's interesting. There's going to be something new coming out from them. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that they released uh, Treebeard and, and a new Ent. So um, it's good that they're getting some uh, attention. The Water Guild uh, from Forge World, these were up for pre-order yesterday. Uh, they look really cool. I like these. Um, fantastic minis to go with uh, any of your gangs. We'll have a look at them in a, in a moment. Um, you've got Ardeneth Deepkin, uh, how they play in the new edition. Uh, the Cataphrain Chronicle, 10 cards to help you fish for glory Well, with Elethane's Soul Raid. There's the fish. And then, yep, the Spinefin Toxin, the Rock Snake Toxin, Orchestrated Kill, Strength of Swarm, Hunt as a Pack, oh wow, Shifting Currents. Forgotten Nightmares, a Risky Prospect, Shocking Ferocity, Rebound, and then you've got the Download, the Errata, and the Championship Rules, and the Restricted List for them. Designers Notes, how points changes and make new edition more balanced than ever. So you've got some um, points changes as well. Um, straight away, you've got things like, yeah, Daughters of Cain, um, Pitch Profile, Reinforcing Units, Increases across the bot board. So on the whole, points values have seen an increase. You've got a points calculator. And so on. And then new FAQs as well. And then there's going to be further re refinement and tweaking. Broken Realms Fiction, brutal. Um, so you've got a nice bit of fiction there to read about the Oryx. And that's it uh, for the news. Um, quite a lot of varied news. Um, not really anything uh, at all to do with uh, 40k it's been very very age of sigma uh for the last week and um, the closest we got for 40k was a regimental standard and um the vindica model and technically the the necromunda uh, new models but it's very very heavy age of sigma i'm wondering whether next week we'll get um some uh, 40k articles maybe with the release of the the final um sisters of battle new models so we spent a long time on the uh, news today. Let's jump on over to Forge World. Right here, and we have a look at the new uh, minis for today, yesterday even. Um, so here they are. They've got a nice little article. They've got a nice uh, thumbnail here for um, some hired guns as well. Uh, they're showcasing the uh, Water Guild. If we click on new and pre-orders, here they are. The Mercator Nautica Siphoning Delegation, uh, forty-two pounds. You've got the three miniatures. One of them is quite large. Um, what size base is he on? Uh, Forty mil, so like a Terminator base. So not quite an amble, but still um, pretty cool. All in resin with the Necromunda uh, bases as well. They look really cool. I like them. So yeah, that's those. Um, let's jump on over to Games Workshop and have a look at the pre-orders uh, for them. So straight away, uh, it says selling fast. Again, I'm, I'm not sure about that because nothing really seems to be out of stock. Um, but then you've got the Blood Bowl teams in metal for one week only. If we just click on new and exclusive, we go to pre-orders, we hit the high to low and the view all. Um, so yeah, look, the limited edition is still there. The Dominion bundle with the coins is still there, or the tokens. Um, you've got Gaunt's Ghost from the other week. Both of the special edition uh, novels for Dominion by Darius Hinks are out of stock. This is the Blood Bowl Vampire team that's up for pre-order today. £40 for 12 metal miniatures. Um, you've got until 6pm on the 4th of July to order them. I think one week is not very long at all especially as these have just come up for pre-order today. I know that um, Games Workshop uh, kind of uh, let us know about them last weekend, but there you go, that's those. And then also the High Elf uh, Blood Bowl team. Um, same price, £40 for the 12, for the metal miniatures. So if you like both of those, you want a bit of a nostalgia trip, especially with those, <laughs> I love those uh, green bases, they're brilliant. Um, then, you know, you can pick those up. Uh, 
There are still things for pre-order on the site, but they were up for pre-order last week, um, such as the uh, scenery and the objective sets and the books um, and the, the paints. But literally all that there is for this weekend is just the Water Guild from Forge World for Necromunda and these two um, Blood Bowl teams. That is it. It's a very quiet weekend. I think next weekend with the release of Dominion, even though it's a it's a big weekend for Games Workshop, and uh, that that uh, set will be available uh, in stores. I think that um, I do believe that uh, they will release um, the last few sisters. Um, products so you've got the combat patrol which is essentially the army set that came out a year and a half ago um along with a, a rhino um the the kind of banner bearer with a grandma uh and the tank as well the castigator tank which i'm looking forward to the banner bearer and the and the tank i'm going to try and pick them up for you guys um what do you think of uh all of these pre what do you think of in particular warhammer plus use this um opportunity to you know put all your thoughts and opinions down below um you can continue the conversation in my discord server as well are you really looking forward to your uh, warhammer age of sigma uh, dominion box um this weekend again please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below it'd be great to hear from you thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the emperor protects